Okay, so let's go into it from from um, music now. We go in, set, come up. From the ankles, I walk my hand underneath the feet here. Now, I'm asking my fly to lean back into whale. So what is whale? So before we start anything, get really clear about point B. Where is it we're trying to go? I'm gonna set her back down by my ears. This time I put this in underneath the bottom, bring it towards the lower back here. He's gonna lean back. This is where we're going towards, okay? So we're going from throne to here. Okay, so leaning back. So sit here, down, I push up. I walk my hands underneath the feet here. This helps me support her and she can push down to it a little. From here, watch my feet. If I just take my foot off here, she's gonna, all the weight shifts, she's gonna fall this way. So what I do is I, sh I sh pivot my feet uh, diagonal a bit this way. So now she has both her butt cheeks on my feet. It's gonna be, is that more comfortable or less comfortable? Less. Less, huh? Yeah, it's so easier you, just to shift over onto one leg. Easier, she says it's easier. That's why I love having a flyer because she's able to really relate to her experience more so than I can just from down here. So ask your flyer what feels good for her. She says if she shifts our weight onto one butt cheek, let's, why don't we shift it on this side for me so they can see this foot. She's shifting our weight on this side. That means the opposite foot is pushing. There's very little weight on this hand. It's mostly all these opposites. So if your foot is on one side, you're pushing off the opposite hand there, okay? And this foot's more like a guide hand. From here, this foot's going to walk back. Never, don't take it off. Keep it tracing along the back here. Bring your toes towards the lower back as she leans back into it. She can fall back here. And then you take this foot off. When I take this foot off, she shifts all the weight now onto this foot. So it's just about being able to put more weight on one foot or one balance point to be able to take the other, free the other foot off or hand off to come up. And then I'm walking it back here. So this is the end point. So then I can walk it back towards the ankle. Of course, be mindful of falling back this way. So if you do, the only thing that the base can do is they can't do anything. There's no extra limbs back there to protect you. So again, because I don't teach with a spotter always, spotting sometimes will teach you bad habits of like trusting that the spotter knows what they're doing. If there's a fall, that's where you need to learn to turn. Let's turn this way so they can see you. You need to learn how to turn, bring your feet down, and brace yourself. So I never teach well for beginners at that high. I always go down here first. Start here. Have your flyer stand by the head here, lean back, and just practice what it's like to fall off. Happy. Go ahead now. <laughs> go ahead and lean back. There you go. Just feel what this feels like. What it feels like to fall out. So this is just a practice falling. If there's a fall, she'll roll to one side. Learn how to brace and spot. Okay, let's give it a try.